Don't anybody say. F now we have to introduce <coughs> our tasting buddies for tonight. This right here is our neighbor Sarah. Sarah owns not one but two bars, and she is an expert on all kinds of <laughs> whiskey and beer and spirits and things like that. Yeah. So she's I'm going to be our chief taste tester on our Aquavit tonight. Now the Aquavit is in the freezer, okay. and it's very, very cold. That's the way really? it's supposed to be served. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get it out one at a time because we can't get it all out at once or the two we're not testing at the time will get too warm. It has to be very cool. And this over here is, yeah, you guessed it, teeny weeny Marlini. <laughs> Marlene's going to drink wine through this whole deal. Maybe. Because she's not having, maybe. Oh, we'll she may see. try some aqua cool. bit too. I have to taste it. Okay, she has to taste it. Misery loves but, company, thank you. Yes. <laughs> but don't, taste don't believe anything she says about whether she likes that's it. That's right. Because she's no expert by a hell of a long shot. Right. But that's what we're going to do. So here we are, we have our, our two experts. We've got a little bit of Limburger cheese for everybody to try. we got a little bit of pickled herring that everybody loves, don't mm -hmm. we? Oh, we, lo yum. we love pickled hairy. What else do we have? Dill pickles. We have some dill pickles too. Dill pickles, you said pickles we needed that. And rye pickles. bread. And some rye bread. Okay. I mean, there ain't no damn vipers around here. I'll go get our first shot. Are you going to shut it off while we set everything else up? Yeah. Okay. Fortunately, I can edit this so we can take yes. out More comments video. like that. <laughs> okay, so what Here we have are your grandpa's aquavit. Grandpa Christian used to imbibe with this stuff. It's the Taffel Olive Word from Copenhagen, Denmark, thereabouts. So we're going to each get a little slug of this. We're going to try to be, oh, that's cold. All right, Sarah, hand me your, you're the guest of honor, hand me your shotgun. Just, I went on this barely. Yeah, it's a little slug. Whoa! That's cold. cold. That's more than a little slug. You're gonna like it. So. Don't give me that. Okay. Don't give me that. I'll try and give you a smaller slug, but that's cold. I, mean. I don't care. It's little. Don't you have balls, Marlene, no. or what? I know. <laughs> As a matter of fact, <laughs> okay. last time I looked, no. He's gonna be able to do a lot. Where? That's cold. Okay. We got Connor Albert here. Oh dear. Now, if you sniff that, here, you're gonna. <laughs> I was gonna put it. Okay, you're gonna sniff a little caraway. A lot of caraway. I smell. Oh, yeah. I handy. smell fennel and I dill. Smell, it could yeah. be some fennel because there's fennel mixed in with some of this stuff. I forget which is which. I smell a lot and of fennel. And some fennel. dill. There should be some dill. I do. I smell the dill and the fennel. Mm -hmm. It's a very, hmm. very tasty drink, actually. You think? It's not actually a liqueur. Oh, it smells fantastic. Take a little sip. All those aftertaste in it. There's even a little citrus in there, I think. Very little. It'll burn the back of your palate real quick. <laughs> then with that, we can oh. we can have a little pickled herring. Little burn on the goozle going See how that works? I took such a tiny amount that I did too, but mm. all right. the pickled herring is to die for. I don't mind telling you that, folks. All right, here's I haven't done that. That is some since. good stuff. Okay, dokie. I can make a smaller bite. Yes, yes. I could have made now a try a little, as small as you want. Try a little Limburger cheese. This is brand new, fresh Limburger cheese from Monroe, Wisconsin. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit here on a piece of rye bread. It really has a whole lot of taste. I can taste the We're bread. We're going to do a test. And the now, we don't have any onions with this because even though <laughs> over there in Monroe at Baumgartner's they have a nice cheeseburger, or Limburger and onion sandwich, that's not how the old guys used to eat it. They had actually let this stuff age a lot longer than, than we did because the stinkier, the older it gets, the stinkier it gets. You don't have and they loved it, the stinkier it got. It's not as bad as I remember. <laughs> Mm. Man, that is good. But like I said, you 
want to wash it down, so you will drink this. I believe you ate a couple of good sandwiches of this. You wouldn't want to do it when you're going out on your first date with a girl. Probably not. You're probably never going to get another <laughs> date. That oh. and a little Auburn Aquavit. Oh, this is really loving, isn't it? You say so, dear. It's, mm -hmm. it's unique flavor. I'll say that for it. It is that. I now, Sarah and I, we do a lot of test tasting on, on tequila. We probably tasted one of every tequila made, maybe even more than one. <laughs> That's kind of our hobby. We get together on Tuesday nights because it's like Tequila Tuesday, get it? And we'll try out different brands of tequila, picking out the very best ones amongst the slew of them. It all would be really great except then the next morning, when we decide which ones we can get rid of and which ones we want to buy again, we, we can't remember it. <laughs> so the next Tuesday night, damn if we don't have to do it all over again. And this, this Limburger cheese, this is this right here. That actually is not bad at no, all. No, this is hitting the, the spot. Cheese, the yeah, cheese. There's really not no, a lot of taste. No, no it isn't. It's, well, it's delicious. It's, it's creamy. Good. Now, we're going to leave it sit here. Next year at the same time. <laughs> Let it sit for a year. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do it again. We'll, we'll try the Limburger after it's been sitting for a year. Like the old guys used to do. And oh, then that's we'll terrible. report to you again. Oh, that's awful thought. Mm. Now that. Oh, that's to die for. Okay, that is, that is. I taste fennel mm -hmm. and dill. Maybe mm -hmm. a little bit of caraway. Mm -hmm. Now, is this one made with... Potato? Mm -hmm. That one's They're potato. All made with They're potato. all potato. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, kind of like vodka. In fact, a lot of the things I've been reading about on the internet is there are people who, bartenders, who will use this in lieu of gin and vodka for some of their drinks. Really? And it comes out with a very distinctive taste and is also very good. One of them that I have I is like have a replacement for gin, gin and tonic. Oh, oh. What do you think of the pickled herrings? <laughs> Well, uh, they should be help you with. They should counterbalance the taste here a little bit in that Lindbergh cheese. Okay. Yeah, they're yummy. Mm -hmm. This pickled herring, that is good stuff. My body will tell me later that it really did not like that at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. No, I don't think so, Sarah. It's pickled, but it's not pickled like what I had before. The other was a fermented flavor, and that's not. That tastes more like they threw it in with the dill pickles and then just pulled it out. Well, ta di da. Hmm? ta di da. <laughs> it's probably not that bad. It's sweet, actually. Yeah, it is. It's very sweet. I was this surprised. This is your Caffel Aquavit. I'm sure you folks will enjoy that. Run down to Lori's Spirit World and get yourself a bottle or two. No, I get a 10 cent. Well, yeah, never bother you buy. <laughs> yeah, I actually like this Limburger. Yeah, there's not. It doesn't. Have no, it a doesn't lot have the wang to it. To it. No. no. I bet that surprises a lot of our viewers. Yeah. No, I. That's how much they know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've always heard of Limburger cheese and how bad it smells and how it. It, it does. Yeah. After and you let it sit around a while. But this, That's the whole idea. The old guys thought. This obviously is not aged very no. long. We're that's, not really doing a... That's a good thing. <laughs> we're not really doing an old old timers test here because we we got fresh new Limburger, but... <laughs> good enough. This that's, is all yeah. they had. Mm -hmm. That's fine. We will take... All these guys that came over from the North Country, this is all they had on their boat trip all the way over. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's kidding me. <laughs> Well, I mean, they had an abundance of fish there, so what do you do with it? Make lutefisk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't have any lutefisk. Thank goodness. We'll check on that later. But we do have oh. our dill pickles. <laughs> Those are really dill. Mm -hmm. They go very good with Hallberg off with it. Our right. Danish forefathers would be proud. Enhance the flavor of this after a bite of dill. Mm -hmm. That was the idea. Those little Norskies knew what they were doing. 
No, they just had limited amount of whatever, and they said, we'll <laughs> do, do what we can. Yeah. <clears throat> Bless their hearts. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to swig that. <laughs> I'm not going to swill that down. Let's Want another shot? No, well, no, just no, not no. so much next time for Seth. Yeah, not quite as much. You gave me Who's a running this glass. show, for Christ's sake? Me. <laughs> yeah, I know you have to tell everybody. Hmm. All right. Okay. We'll have to try the next one. Right. What do you think, Sarah? Should we try the next one? We like this, don't okay. we? Okay. That wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. That wasn't bad. Oh, wasn't well. sure what to expect, but... It's pretty, pretty tasty. I, I did not have a bad like reaction and run to the bathroom. Right. That's a good thing. Yes, it is. A very good thing. <laughs> I don't know if I didn't change the towels. I don't know if we even got any toilet paper in the bathroom. Well, the only thing I would be doing would be over the sink going, oh, <laughs> I'm not part. going to spit it out. Well, there. I think maybe the other side was the problem. No, 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 no. Just okay. spit it out. So okay. It's not like a bad, it's not like bad tequila that you have to get rid of because you couldn't get it down if you tried. Uh -huh. This okay. time, we have the Norwegian version. This is one called Linny. What? Linny. From Norway. L Linny. Okay. Yeah, that's going to have a little bit more uh, citrus flavor in it and dill. And so, uh, a hint of caraway, and I, I don't think as much as the last one had. But this is made in Norway. And it was it's famous because back in the early days when they'd ship it over to Asia, they shipped five casts of this over. This was aged in a sherry. Cask. Oh. And the taffle is like, because that's like white lightning. That's just as it came out of the still, like okay. our Appalachian moonshine. This linny, this linny is very special stuff because they shipped it over to Asia. It went and they had to go around the Cape because we didn't have the Panama Canal there. For, uh, Teddy hadn't been around yet. So it went around the Cape, across the equator, that's back up awesome. across the equator again into Asia. And that sat on this trading ship there, and they didn't sell it. They used to trade stuff over there and then take it back home and sell it. But they uh, couldn't get anybody to take them up on the linny, so what? they brought it back again. I was going to say, what length of time are we talking about with this aging? Well, it took a while to get over there back on those sailing ships. I'm assuming. Yeah, so probably a few months each way. Okay. But then as it came back, they had to go across the equator again. <laughs> And they had to come back up across the equator a fourth time. And all this time it's out to sea, it's rocking and rolling and sloshing around in those casts. And when it got back and they opened it up in Norway and said, we're not going to let this go to waste. And they took a big slug. They said, this stuff is good. Good. Much better than before they sent it. All that sloshing in those cherry casks. Huh? Was, had made it even better and better than it was when they shipped it. I was going to say, and before said, it left. man, this stuff is good, yeah. <clears throat> so I don't know if they're still doing that or not. I don't know. What do they, they, then they, would they be rotating and turning the casks? You wouldn't have to because they're floating. Well, you're, no, you're they out, are. You're, yeah, they're psh, no But if the they're making this now, now. I don't know now. how they do so, it now. But that's okay. the story behind where then it came from. Now, it still says that it's double doppelgangered across the equator, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they run down there with a speedboat and go back and forth a couple times. I mean, I don't know that process. I so we're going to give it a try it. anyway. That's the history of this crap stuff. Because okay? I've never heard of this. I know. Aqua it's very interesting. Aquavit? Aquavit, yeah. Aquavit. It's, very, Aquavit. it's the big deal over in Norsky country. Okay. This is the whiskey. Okay. Actually... This is the national whiskey of Norway. They consider not. this a whiskey? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot like vodka. And all that stuff wow. is distilled. It's kind, okay. of, kind of a whiskey. As okay. opposed to a cordial or a liqueur. Or okay. That's what they say. I don't know. I don't know how they classify Whoa. that stuff. Eek. Oops. Oh, there's another oops. <laughs> well, okay. Sarah and I, we can, we can stand it. Or you can trade glasses with her. Yeah. Because these are clean glasses. Yeah. Those are new glasses. No, because I don't want her germs. She's already she handled it. Ah, I haven't tasted it. She handled it. No, Dick, be good. He's trying to find me with extra alcohol. Yeah.
Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna take advantage of Sarah. See if I can get her to give me a gift certificate to one of her bars. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now, that stuff is cold. Oh, it is cold. It's very cold. Well, it's just <laughs> a freezer. Isn't that cool? That's cool. I thought it was cool. It's cold. This one, I don't think, has has much of a, a smell. Something for to 200 it. years they've been making this. Yeah. All it's, right. It takes a long time to get around the equator. The other one, I can Twice. smell more of this. Oh, you can caraway. smell it. But this yeah. one, I. That's what I said. You won't have a lot of caraway. I can't. Tomorrow. This one. But you'll have a. Not as much. It'll be a citrusy. Why did they ever come up it? with caraway and fennel and I guess it was I what don't they know. had. I think they And citrus. Where the heck would they get citrus up there? Mm. Florida. Mmm. In Scandinavia. It yeah. smells they got boats. That's where the Vikings they used to go down to Florida and raid <coughs> raid Florida and steal the oranges and take them home with them. They go over to Ireland and steal the potatoes. <laughs> yeah, I can see the potatoes. Except during the potato famine. I don't know where they got them then. See, you know, that's a completely different taste, right? It's like our, it's like our, uh, uh, tequilas. Oh, no, this one actually reminds me of a schnapps. I mean, it's a lot different, like, like they're not all the same on oh, the no. top of this. this Neither are different. all the tequilas. I mean, this is, this Are is, we? this could be, depending on your taste, could be better than the other one, or depending on your taste, the other one could be better than this one. Duh. But see, I gotta have a little Limburger with that. That ain't bad. Mm, it's good. It's damn good stuff. It's nice That's as good as some of yeah. our tequilas, isn't it? Kind of. Uh, we've had In a weird really, way. We yes. got some really shitty tequila. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's much better than a few of those tequilas. Oh, yeah. Mm. Let's see what. What Danish custom? I'm gonna take a bite of this. Mm -hmm. Pickle. A little dill pickle. <laughs> herring. Mm -mm. A little pickled herring. I think Marlene would like it if she tried it. No. The herring is sweet. It's almost like it's cured mm -hmm. sugar. Mm -hmm. mm, while there's still pickle. Well, I remember from the old days. The guys would be sitting around laughing and joking while they okay. found all of this stuff. Well, I your bottle's frosting over. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, that's cold. That, that, that that's is cold. cold time. And it can't mm -hmm. freeze because no. it's got such a high alcohol content. Yes, How long? 40%. That's Oh, they're all okay. right, right at 40 41, 40, right in that area. Okay. Yeah, I still so don't get that. Straight, but no problem. Mm. What do you think, Marley? How's your taste test going? What is that one? It's okay. Do I want a steady diet? No. No. Well, you're only supposed to have this on Christmas time and things like that. That's your, that's the deal. Do they leave it in the cask during this time? No, it's or like they, any other. They take it out, put it in the bottle, it stops aging. Like well, any well other that's one. what I wondered if they left it in the cask to age and age and age yep. and age and age. Yep. They don't. They do for a while. And then they right. bottle it. Right. Okay. But once it's bottled, then it's not going to age anymore. But you can tell with the color. See, the other, our others was completely white. Yeah. And this has got a, a darker color. That's because of the cask aging. Ah. No matter how long they do it. Well, they say they always use cherry cask, but you could probably use anything. Well, it's, cherry it's has that sweet. Yeah. That's why the wood up there that uh, we cut down that a couple of people wanted. Well, oh, the apple? Uh, no, the cherry tree. Cherry it's tree. cherry. That one's it has, smoking, it, it though, gives you it? a little, uh, it gives you a sweet flavor in, in your meats. Oh, for smoking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably does the same here. Yeah. Like yeah, for smoking it or, mm -hmm. yeah. Whether it's an offset smoking or uh, direct, direct under it. Would you just slice another little chunk of cheese for me, little dear? Thank you. This, right now, I, I have to say, Grandpa. I like this, this one better favorite. than the other. Yeah, so do I. I think I like that one 
that there's but there were no Swedes in my family. They are no Norwegians. They were Swedes and Danes. All I know uh, is there were a few of mine that were of Scandinavian ancestry. Which one for sure? Yeah, a lot of them are just pretty much the same. Don't know. This rye bread adds flavor to it too, I think. Mm -hmm. that's, that's very good. That is a tangy pickle. What brand? They were cut in fours. I cut that. No, what, what brand of pickle? Um, Classics? I think so. Okay. I'll have to check. Yeah. yeah, they were halves that I cut in four inch. Got it. <laughs> I didn't think you wanted the whole half. No, not so much. This is all right, Dave. I like the dill with the sweet. And that, it kind of just offsets it. So it's not bad. And that's why I think the mm -hmm. silly herring goes compatibly with it because it's sweet flavored. Now, what were you expecting when I asked you to participate in? in this little project, neighbor? <laughs> well, some of your experiments have been um, um, interesting. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to embarrass I, it, me on national television. I, it, was, it was just, it, I'm not sure what I was expecting as far as because your taste buds liking scotch and whiskeys, and I don't, I'm thinking of these and going, oh dear, what am I getting myself into? We don't always agree on, on our tequila taste, but when we get one that we both like, we know we really have a good one. <laughs> mm. I do like that flavor. So do I. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to see how we like the one. This brewed in Minneapolis. The really? next one we're gonna we're gonna have. It's a lot of these Norsky guys they settled originally up when they immigrated here, up in Minnesota and Wisconsin and in the North Country because they like it when it's nice and cold in the winter. <laughs> They're like that. I mean, the, of all the places you could have settled, and here's the whole country, mm -hmm. you could go somewhere else, and they go, no, nope, we yep, like it here. Right. Well, it's a lot like a lot of the people. Muslims that run around that escape there dirty rotten countries and come over here and then want to change our country to be like the one they just ran away from. That's how much sense it makes. That didn't make sense. I know. <laughs> That's what they did. Well, at least they just said we like the North Country here and mm -hmm. they did not, for the majority of them, ever move anywhere south. No, they didn't. Well, they just stayed no. right there and made, just started making this stuff up in Minnesota, too. Now, our silly German ancestors, they went everywhere. They, uh, you know that. <laughs> They're much. more adventuresome. They went far south. They went partially west, midwest. Now, what? how many other et ethnic groups can we can we offend? <laughs> as, long as, as long as we're as long as we're doing this. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut it off and get ready for the next one. Okay. I like that one. That one's not bad at all. It's clean and crisp. Yep, yep, yep. 47. <laughs> For heaven's sakes, let Marilyn get a three. <laughs> oh, well. I know they don't want that, but... Okay, this one, the tatters all came it's from... It's not Tattersail? Tattersail, A-L-L, Tattersall. It is an L-L. Yeah. Came from... Oh. Minneapolis. The Norskis that emigrated to Minneapolis made this one. And I believe it's been in a barrel of some kind there, unless that's the color of the bottle. We'll see. I didn't try this one when I was down at, at Lori's Spirit World. The Aquavit expert down there told me he's tried this and he really loves it. He said it's really good stuff. So I said, ah, what the hell? I drove all the way down here and I'm never coming back. Give me one of those too. Bull. Well, I haven't, I haven't been to Denny Lewis' Spirit World. Denny Lewis sold his Spirit World. Isn't it still there? No, no it, it's down at Hot Arbon Village now. I had to look all over oh, and find it. Oh, no. Some lady named Lori something or other bought it. Okay. So now I call it Lori's Spirit World. Because it was at 140. 72nd. And, and oh, it was. Pacific. 
Yeah, uh -huh. two for a while, okay. though, I think. Never mind, you're right. one I always went to was yeah. 74th and Pacific. Right. Anyway, anyway, this guy was an expert. He said he really likes this stuff, and then I tried it. It was made by these by these Norsky descendants. And he <coughs> said it's very good. It's, it's, a, it's a, not really a copy of what they have over there, but, but it's uh, the same same similar okay. potato. It's still a potato. And, yeah. So we're going to give this a shot and we're going to see how it tastes because this was made in America. Ooh, in a Bloody Mary. Yeah, they say <gasps> you can make a Bloody Mary out of this. He's got some recipes on the back of there that oh, Master oh, Brewer does. Oh. So we can try that too. Tomorrow morning when we're still hungover, we'll try the Bloody <laughs> Mary. I've got the, I've got the, uh, V8. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to take this thing off of it so it doesn't get in the way. Okay. I don't know what it says. It probably says this is good stuff or something. Okay. Yes. All right. That's all it is. Cocktail app. Over 400 drink recipes. Whoa. This is the only one that has a real cork in it. They corked this sucker. They did. <laughs> get it? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. This looks more like some kind of a Courthouse, but it's not. This is the stuff. I still think of these more as a liqueur as opposed to a, a spirit, a whiskey, or whatever. Oh, well, it's right. kind of like vodka. It's a potato thing. There's one. So okay. That's a cold bottle. Um, why don't you take this one and give me a little bit less? God, I keep <laughs> yeah, come on, dear. Let me get you shit face so I can have my way tonight. There you go. Taste always real. Okay. Yeah. Mm, that's real. Yeah, a little bit, half is okay, yeah, but that is. That's good. That one's way too much for me. Well, this one's even full, more full. Well, more full. More full? <laughs> more full. <laughs> I'm just taking advantage when I can. <laughs> now you know why the cage This one has a completely food. different smell to it. Those guys don't just buy you girls booze out of the goodness of our heart. We expect something mm. in return. This one smells lemony. Well, it almost mm. looks more yellowish like it's a lemony. It's it does. Citrusy. It's a hair. Yellowish, but I, don't, I doubt if that's from the aging. I think they infused Whoa. citrus. Yeah. This one's potent. Yeah. This one has a real strong after flavor. Yeah. It stays. The first one had the burn on the back of the throat of from which from what I'm not sure. It's completely different than Oh the yeah, it is. I so still we expected that. I still like the last one the best. The second one. Yeah. This one you have to leave in your mouth a little bit after you it's the aftertaste that are, that are interesting. Hmm. It is different. This one, the guy, the Akovic guy, told me he really, really liked. Everybody likes. Everybody something has a different. Entirely different. I prefer the one we had. Second. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think I agree with you. I do too. I wouldn't kick this out of bed for each cracker. <laughs> if it grew enough. Uh, uh, appendages to eat crackers in bed. I'd give it the bed mm. and the house and leave. <laughs> yeah, I like the last one. We run down and have a beer, right? Better yeah. than this, yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Mm. Maybe this is why they like the pickled herring because it had a sweet flavor Maybe. to we'll offset try. that, all right? We'll try it and see. We'll try it and see. Hmm. Who's my dill pickle first? Different. <clears throat> All right, there's Ryan herring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that herring is delicious. I can understand anybody who wouldn't like pickled herring. If you here. eat the sweet and the offset of the bread and then take a sip of that, it toned it down completely. Oh. I don't know why, but it did. Well, would you like a piece of herring? To uh, no, thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right, now hey, let's Marley. try a little piece of cheese. <laughs> I did not marry an adventuresome woman. 
But I gotta say, at least she's tried the alcohol. Hey, Janice, be nice. I know. I'm gonna punch you. The cheese and the rye. Something about the the cheese and the rye. Then try. There's something about it. See what it does to this. Maybe we'll conclude with it. No, I hate to say the herring offsets the flavor of this more. Isn't that weird? The sweet. No, it's just weird as all get out. That cheese gets to taste of downright good, I gotta say. <laughs> it does. No, I'm not gonna say it doesn't. It it it's just a it's it's just a nice mellow squish. <laughs> yes, it is. That's all I got. That yeah, consistency kind of like craft American does. But it's, but it's real, real cheese. It's, it's Limburger. It's cheese. How about it came from Monroe, Wisconsin? That's the only one left. Gotta look. Gotta look. Bavarian made. That's, as far as I know, that's the only one they had. Bavaria. I know it says Bavaria, but is it really Bavaria or are they... I'm looking for it. I think it's Monroe. When we I were there for I don't know if it really tells you. Here it's a product of Germany. Really? Imported by... Oh, we imported it from yep. Deutschland? Yes. I'll begin. Next time I'm going to tell them I want American. It's a, a German uh, Lindberger. Oh, well. Huh. Cool. It's the no only one No wonder it's so mild. No, we just wouldn't have anything to do with this product. <laughs> I think that's the only one they had, though, because I looked and looked and couldn't find it. And she, There's this only... gal, finally said, "Are you? What are you? Are you looking for something?" You're wandering you all over it? like me. And she said, "Oh, I saw it here just a minute ago." She said, "I saw it somewhere, and we found this one. That's Not it. a bunch of them. But Is it over one. there in the specialty cheeses mm -hmm. over in that right. one little tiny area over right. by the deli?" Yeah. yeah. It's kind of hard to find it unless you got a high V near you. <laughs> Most regular grocery stores don't have it. Because I bought some before and I had to look all over to find it. What it's worth. This is less off putting on the flavor of this with this first. Now that's just okay. Try. Never said oh it's gonna like hair pickle cherry. I might have a little shot of that cheese but here while we're at it. You better, because we should try some. Of that. If this is all they had to eat coming over, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be eating the dill pickles and the bread. Well, no, I'm sure the che the cheese would age and change flavor as they went. That's terrible. Yeah, and smell. Oh my God, I can't this, imagine. This has no. This but is that's not what just you'd it. Expect. The Limburger well, that I smelled say was stinky. Cheese sandwiches in that bar right. garden right. didn't. So it, it was more, much it was like, more this. like this. But they had onions on theirs, and I forgot to get some onions. Ah, red onion or white? Just regular white onions. White oh, 53. 53 to nothing. Nebraska's whipping the shit out of the Terrapins. <coughs> Very unusual this year to see Nebraska whipping the shit out of anybody. Well, their quarterback is, uh, he be hurt. Oh. See that? Yeah. So it's kind of one of those things of enough, <sighs> enough, enough, enough. They need to stop. We have a TV going over there with the mute on in the distance. They just they need to stop running. Up. When you get to a hundred, you can stop. <laughs> no, stop before. They should have. Well, Martinez is out. Well, that's a little recap, folks. I got to tell you, they're all good. I think Sarah and I would agree we we would take the Linny mm -hmm. as our yes. favorite. Yes. And yeah. Marlene and too. And me too. And Marlene too. So and then yeah. we, That's three thumbs up yeah. for Between those. Between the other two, the I'd probably the I don't know. I'd rate them kinda equal, the Tatters all or the all the Taff or all bird. This would be my oh. least favorite. Yeah. Oh, so the Taff yeah. would the be the one that yeah. he said. Alberg would be second. Yeah. That's his Grandpa favorite. Christensen's. Yeah. I would and say this, this would is be last. right there, the Minneapolis brand.
So we're about the reverse, maybe, of that mm -hmm. expert down there, Laurie Spirit. <laughs> what does he know? <laughs> I know. He Everybody. didn't look like a Norski to me, anyway. Everybody liked something. Did different. he have Norse horn helmet on? No, he didn't, have a, he didn't have a Viking helmet on or anything. But he was pretty knowledgeable about all this stuff and where it came from. Well, but that's what got that's you going. Job. What got you going? Why did you ever think of doing this to begin with? Well, I was thinking, the other day I was sitting there reminiscing about the old days and I said to myself, you know, I used to keep a bottle of Auburn around here in honor of old Grandpa Christian. Aquavit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Auburn is, that's the brand. Is that's Auburn. the brand. Aquavit, because old Grandpa Christian, used to, it was a big deal. Every Christmas, this is what they do. The old Norskis would get together and do this. Okay. Well, we hadn't, I hadn't done it for years, but I used to do it in Dallas once in a while. I had a bottle of that that I had around for probably 10 years. I'd take a little pull out of it every year and then put it back in the freezer. Oh my. So I decided, I think this year I'll reinstitute that old tradition. And then the more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, if I'm going to do this, I should get some objective tasters to somebody who I know has a good palate and tells the truth all the time and never has told a lie in her life. Seems how George Washington's paid. <laughs> I had to go, I had to go for my neighbor Sarah. My, to play that part of the game for me. And I thought what I'll do is we'll, we'll record this, make a video of it, and we'll let the people out there know what we think honestly of yeah. this old Nordic custom. And we've decided, I believe, between us that we we think it's probably a pretty good old tradition, pretty this, good custom, and what the hell, why not? This is the Norse, the Norseman's version of eggnog. Oh, yep, and Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Eggnog and Merry Christmas. So there you have it. Get yourself, go down to Lori Spirit World, get yourself a little aqua bit. They had a bunch of different kinds there. Try some other kinds. Let us know mm -hmm. what you think about, about the other kinds. And get yourself some of that there Limburger cheese and some pickled herring and some dill pickles, some rye bread. Cut it up, slice it up, put it down your gullet. Go for down <laughs> and see what it does to you. Well, long term that, that would warm your insides up pretty darn good it does. if you drink enough of that. The freezer. <laughs> Don't remember to freeze the shit out of it first before you try it. Yeah. So it's very, very cold. Otherwise, you don't know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates. Well, no, every right some things, if you have them room temp, like we like tequila that way. Mm -hmm. If you had this room temp, mm -mm. I bet it would be nasty to taste flavor. Well, well they didn't have freezer. Okay. We could test it out. What were they? Well, what is, were they doing? This is Norway for Christ's sake. I you was going to say stick and it stick it in the, it in the snow. Okay. Right. Jesus, Sarah. I suppose yes. Wait, anyway, what? anybody else got anything more to say to our listening audience or our viewing audience out there? No. Oh, when you burp, it has a different flavor altogether. Yeah, but try to fart. <laughs> try fart and see what happens. No. <laughs> then don't get a don't get a match near me. <laughs> well, you can do it. Okay. Oh. All right, that's it for this session. We hope you learned something. We sure did. <laughs> yeah, we did. That's glad to pass it on to you, folks. That's interesting. Whatever you do, don't clap. Just send money. <laughs> Clap anything you got. <laughs>